Well, hello. It's about 4 p.m. and I hadn't filmed it all today. Oh my gosh, today was such a day. So, last night at Black Bear Resort, my husband came and uh, to slack pack us yesterday. And then he spent the night in a cabin with me and our dogs. And uh, we had a good time. He brought lasagna and beer and wine. And I had a couple glasses of wine. And then this morning, we were supposed to be up and he was gonna drive us back to the trailhead at eight. And I woke up at 10 of eight. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, it's almost eight o'clock. So we were rushing around to uh, get everything together for my uh, hike today. Fortunately, I had put together most of my backpack last night. I just had to, you know, close out my tab at Black Bear Resort and go to the bathroom and uh, get water and eat some breakfast. And so by the time we got going, it was somewhere a little after nine. Uh, but... The rest of today, oh my goodness, I've just been dragging. And I don't know if it's it's hotter than normal today, it's humid. And we had a climb first thing and, uh, and then just kind of like weird climbs throughout the day like little itty bitty bumps, but they were kicking my butt. Uh, and then we got to the shelter, one shelter, beautiful view. I'll drop a picture in uh, and had lunch. Still didn't feel 100%, um, but uh, by the time it hit, I don't know, 3.30, um, things got a little bit better, got some water, sat down for a little bit, uh, went to the bathroom, things like that. And now I'm on the last stretch to the shelter. It was supposed to be almost three miles. And... Like every single time I, I'm getting close to the shelter, two miles feels like 10 miles. Oh gosh. And we had three little hills, I guess, you can call them to climb. Um, oh gosh. But, I think today was 11 miles and I hope I'm closing in on the shelter here. You never know. Uh, but it's been a beautiful day. Just kind of been on the right hand side walking along. It's more like a ridge line, but it's like you can first half of the day, you know, we just saw uh, the dam, Wataga Dam, and then, you know, the um, farmland beyond that down there. Um, today, right now, it's getting a little, uh, it's getting a bit foggy, or not foggy, but overcast. Um, 
maybe we'll hit some rain tonight. I think tomorrow we're supposed to definitely get rain. Uh, I'm one more day closer to Damascus, which is looking forward to that kind of uh, it just feels good. Can you hear my shoe squeaking? Yesterday we hit rain when we were uh, slack packing and I dried my shoes out or my husband dried my shoes out last night but today one of them is just squeak, 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 squeak all day. Yeah, so today was warm. I think tomorrow is supposed to be cooler, which is more conducive, better for a hike to cool. Hike in cooler weather, you know, you're not, it's not draining you as much. So if uh, you are homemade's mother, and I'm so sorry, I don't know your name. Maybe you can introduce yourself in the comments, but just want to let you know, I run into him uh, frequently, saw him at Black Bear Resort last night. He did come and have a piece of lasagna. And uh, you would be, I can see that you would be a very proud mother because he's a very nice young man and uh, always says hello. <laughs> Is the shelter? Oh my goodness! Last night we were going to sleep, and the it was raining out. I didn't think it was supposed to rain, but it. I have a. Um, tin roof, and so it's kind of neat. Here in the water, hit the roof. We stayed in. So I had stayed in two cabins there. One was with uh, just try and splat when we first got there before Tom came. And it's a smaller, it was a smaller cabin. And then, uh, and then when Tom came, I moved us into a uh, larger cabin, which was good because Tom had brought all three of the dogs instead of two, which I thought 
and uh, he, uh, it was nice to, um, it was nice to, uh, have some more room. We had uh, dog crates for them to sleep in and you know when he had to drive me to the trailhead he had to uh, put the dogs in the crate while, oops, while he was gone. So uh, it was nice to have a little extra room. And they had a nice porch you could sit on and watch the water with a, like a rocking chair type of thing. It was, it's a nice place to go. Uh, they're doing renovations and uh, a lot of people there last night, a lot of hikers either having getting out of the rain or had been rained on and just needed a minute to get dry and take showers and clean clothes and stuff. So a lot of tenters last night, some people in some cabins. Um, so it's good to see that they're business was doing well. This is what it looks like every single day. What you do is hike in the mountains. Whew. Some days are harder than the, the next. Some shelters are a little bit of a walk 
off the trail, but most are right smack on the trail. <laughs> so it's about lunchtime. When you stop for lunch, it's convenient that all you have to do is walk a couple feet over to the shelter and sit down. exciting. I think either tomorrow or Monday we'll actually get into the state of Virginia. Ooh, wow. It's amazing when you think about how far you've come and uh, and still there's a lot to go, but it's amazing. You know, to hike this whole trail or to hike this trail and go from state to state to state. Of course, Virginia is the largest of them all. I Well, I'm not sure if it's the largest of them all, but it's a large. So, crossing into another state is gonna be a while. But North Carolina and Tennessee just kind of float in and out of that those two states continually. All right, I'm gonna put you away because it's getting a little rocky, and I'm gonna need to check and see where this shelter is at. Because I have a feeling I should be coming up on it very soon. And I don't want to slip in. Oops, 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 oops. I don't want to trip and hurt myself here. All right, I'm gonna put you away for now. Sorry for the late video, but it's been a, it's been a day. All right, talk to y'all later. Bye y'all.